Hey, Julia, are you there? What are you up to? Stop ignoring me and answer! Come on! Huh? Lucas? Darn it! I guess I forgot to block you. What do you want? I said, what are you up to? Answer me! Uh, slow down. I really don't know what you're talking about. I saw your social media post. Huh? My post? The account I have now is the one I created after we got divorced. Why do you even know this account? A friend of mine saw it and she showed me. Anyway, what the hell was that? Why the hell did you write that? As I said, what the hell are you harping about? I have no idea what this is about. You wrote that you were pregnant. Oh, uh, that, right. I found out I was expecting. Just thought I would share the good news with friends and family. What's wrong with that? Don't go making up tall tales. Stop fibbing. Uh, now why would I lie? Don't go making stuff up. Uh, are you drinking? You're scaring me. No use acting like you're the victim. I want you to delete that post right away. Delete the post? I want you to delete that post and then write another one apologizing for stating a false alarm. Uh, can't do that. I'm really pregnant. So you're still going to deny these bald-faced lies. Okay, I'm warning you. I got my way of dealing with you. I keep saying, what the hell is this? You're gonna pay for this. Watch your back. Huh? What do you mean by that? Hey, Lucas. That account. That's you, right? What is that post? You're saying I got pregnant because I want to get back with you? Are you nuts? I never said such a thing. I'm getting all kinds of replies from total strangers about what an awful person I am. Yeah. That was what you implied, right? I see right through you. You still love me. What a liar. Just straight up admit it. You're really full of yourself, aren't you? Besides, I have zero affection for you. Oh yeah? That post was as if you were telling the whole world you were still madly in love with me. You are out of your mind. Do you really think I still love a guy who cheated on me? Please stop spreading these total lies about me. It's been five years since we got divorced, and we haven't met since then, not even once. Did I do something to you to get you so riled up? Just delete that post about you getting pregnant. If it's a joke or some kind of prank, it's really not very amusing. As I said, my pregnancy is real. I'm having a baby. Why do I have to delete it anyway? Okay, show me some proof. A photo of your big belly, perhaps. Huh? That's sick. How could you ask me that? Anyway, I'm only three months pregnant. There is not much visible change. Just as I thought. All a big fat lie. Why am I even talking to you for God's sake? Just stop this whole charade. I am pregnant. It's a fact. Get it through your thick skull. And I have no love for you. Zero. Get that through your thick skull too. Since it's true, I will not delete the post. I will also add that in my next post. You stubborn little... Sorry to bother you. Can we talk? This is Julia, right? Yes, that's right. Who's asking? Hello, my name is Mia. I'm engaged to Lucas. Huh? To Lucas? I got your ID from Lucas' smartphone. That's why I'm getting in touch with you. I see. I really don't want to stress you out. I know you're pregnant and all. There was something I just had to ask you. I'm so sorry to contact you out of the blue like this. All I want to do is ask you a few questions, calmly, without any negative feelings. Uh, I understand. I didn't realize that Lucas had a fiancé. I was surprised when I learned about it on social media. Is this about what I think it is? Yes. Lucas never mentioned it, but a friend of mine showed me the post on social media. The post about you being pregnant. It's true, isn't it? Yes, it's true. 
so I can't be sure that it's not some ploy to get back with Lucas. Of course not. As a matter of fact, I'm really confused as to why it was even an issue. I see. I'm gonna be straight with you, but is the child you're carrying Lucas's? No, that's totally impossible. We got divorced about five years ago, and I haven't met him since. We went our separate ways way before I got pregnant. Hold on a second. Did you say divorce? You're not his ex-girlfriend, but his ex-wife? Yes, until five years ago, we were husband and wife. That means... Um, something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Sorry, Julia. Yes? Would it be possible to meet and talk about this? Huh? You and me? Meet directly? In person? If you're not comfortable coming alone, you could bring somebody. But... Oh, don't worry. I won't ask Lucas to come. I feel he's hiding various things from me. I just want to make sure. Before I marry the guy, I need to be certain. I see. Well, if that's the case, I will talk to my husband about it. Then I will call you back. How's that? Your husband, meaning you already remarried. Of course. That's why I got pregnant, obviously. Yes, right. Of course. Okay, so I will be waiting for your reply. I'll contact you tomorrow at the latest. Yes, really sorry to inconvenience you. Hey, Julia! What the hell did you tell Mia? Besides, why did you even contact her? Just because you want to get back with me doesn't give you the right to feed lies to Mia. That's just simply devious. The message bell is driving me nuts. You're really unbelievable. Contact Mia right now and tell her the truth. Because of you, she's about to call off our engagement. I wouldn't blame her if she did. Poor Mia. Huh? Get the wax out of your ears, Julia, and listen carefully. I have no intention at all of getting back together with you. Uh, right back at you, buddy. What world are you living in? That message on social media is still there, you know. Please, I'm really sick and tired of this whole affair. Hey, Lucas, will you get your head on straight and think about the one basic misunderstanding of all this? Huh? What misunderstanding? Okay, let's go down the list. Number one, I am pregnant. You're lying! I talked to Mia because she's the one that contacted me. That's impossible! Number two, I have zero affection for you. Then why did you do this? This whole thing is all in your stupid little head. That's why we're in this stupid predicament. The whole stupid predicament started because you lied about being pregnant just to get back together with me. Number three, I got married three months ago. Huh? The child is with my current husband. Huh? What did you say? Got married? You... Julia? That's right! If you're so suspicious, check my timeline in my messages. I wrote in two or three times a month. You'll find it pretty easily. The whole marriage schedule, even marriage photos. I think there are even some videos, practically all the details. It can't be true. Besides, I thought you knew I was married. How was I supposed to know? There was that college alumni party a couple of months ago. I couldn't attend, but my friend said she told you I got remarried. Huh? I figured you knew, and when you accused me of those false claims, I was shocked. Didn't know what the hell you were so riled up about. Now I understand. Uh, but... Well, I should have seen it coming. You were never a good listener. When you get something in your head, you would just take off with it. I never... Before jumping in head first, why not check the social media sites or ask around before lambasting me, calling me a liar? If you had done that, Mia would never have known you were married before. Huh? Did you tell Mia? Well, not really. She figured it out herself. Why? She said she looked through your social media sites. But I didn't tell her any of them. I really don't know the details, but she said she learned about me from looking through your social media sites and figured it out. It was Mia that wanted to meet with me directly and ask me various things. 
You met her directly? Yes, I met up with her in person the other day. I can't believe this! What was Mia thinking? Well, can you blame her? She sends her fiancé was keeping secrets from her. What? That you were married before isn't all that important. But there is another more important secret that you kept from her. What secret? The reason why we divorced, of course. You do remember it was because you cheated on me. But that was a long time ago. That's in the past. Even if it was something in the past and it's all forgotten, a woman is reluctant to marry someone with that kind of past. Oh yeah, on top of that, apparently you're still seeing this girl. Huh? Mia apparently was not comfortable with what you were telling her, and so her parents hired a private investigator to check on you. A private investigator? So, how is this supposed to be all in the past? This has nothing to do with you! You're the one that's in my past! That's the way I wanted it. You're the one who contacted me out of the blue. Then, stay out of my marital affairs! I have stayed out from the very beginning, but it looks like this whole Marshall affair is on the rocks anyway. It's all your fault! I'm the one who's the victim here. I wanted nothing to do with you. I thought you were long out of my life. So you're saying you're not at all to blame? That's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you, LOL. What? Oh, yeah. I heard me as the daughter of the company president where you work. So what? What's it to you? Don't you get it? Like I said, what don't I get? Well, the only advice I can give you is, take some aspirin, sit back, and think long and hard about it. What do you mean by that? Okay, so that's that, I guess. If there is nothing else, I'm going to block you online and my other social media sites. Hold on a sec! Well, he didn't take my advice and immediately got onto social media sites and started spewing all kinds of accusations. But people knew the whole situation by now, and he got a real lambasting from everyone, blaming him for the whole thing. This whole affair eventually made its way to his boss, Mia's father, and the company's CEO, who subsequently transferred him to some faraway subsidiary. Mia demanded compensation for ruining her life and made him pay the entire cancellation cost for the extravagant wedding that they had planned. He finally realized the dire situation he was in and became frantic. He refused to be transferred and started stalking Mia after work and near her home. And as a result, the cops got involved and he had to hire a lawyer, but he eventually got fired from his job. I heard he tried going back to his parents' place, but they had also cut him off. The last time a friend got a glimpse of him is when they saw him with a couple of suitcases boarding a bus at the terminal downtown. Nobody really knows where he disappeared to. Do you remember Bernard? Lydia? Hey sis. I don't really. Who? Bernard the Husky. The one that dad bought me as my sixth birthday present. God, he was so cute. Remember how precious he was to me before you so cruelly took him away? I've told you a thousand times already. It was an accident. That cute little thing. How could I ever forget it? Anyways, why do you bring it up now? What is it? Do you miss mommy and daddy? Nothing. Just naming another dog you stole from me. What do you mean, Alina? I don't get it. Maybe you're not that clever after all. Just evil. Evil enough to let your sister down. Evil enough to backstab your own blood. Enough is enough. Stop with that slandering already. Say what you want to say in clear words. Word? Do you want my words? What happened now? Is that bimbo head of yours is deep down in shame now? And it goes down in my husband in the video? Why don't you open your mouth now? Is it still choked with the depravity you so love to swallow in? Yes, it is. Choking in joy of love is far better than choking on a defeat. A defeat such as yours. And what do you think? That I just stole away your man? Like he was ever a man? This is me and your man having a go in your room on your own birthday. This is me and your man having a romantic Valentine's dinner while you scrambled eggs for his children. Where are your words now? Where's your loser head? 
Is it farther down than when I had your first pet? You're just an ugly old bag. The one people throw away. You're lucky I allow him to not divorce you. And after all this, if you have any inch of shame left in you, ask him where he is right now. P, he's not on a business trip in Ohio. He told you that he left for. He is in the romantic greens of Japan with me. God, I love it when he obeys me like a dog. Hey babe, how's the trick going? It's going well, darling. How was your day though? Unraveling. And may I know as to why that is? Nothing, just a realization of how far we have been. Just this. Oh, I'll be back in two days. Until then, miss me. I'll do. Just like I have always. Meanwhile, if you run out of cash, I have recharged the credit card. Have a nice trip. Thanks, love. Well, well, well. Such a woman. Loving her man for being a good boy for another lady. You know he reads me a text. Haven't I made a bimbo out of you? I accepted, Lydia. And what is it that you accept? My defeat. Like you even have another option. I have your sweetheart on my leash, sis. I have wrecked what you had. I have built it as my own. Make our bed, old woman. While we make love to each other. Will I conquer your life? While I rule your fate? I'm sorry. This just keeps on getting better. Ever since our parents died, I took you in. I was benevolent to you. I brought you up in my own house, along with my man. I did what I could to feed you both. For the love I had for him and you, I ran the business. I filled your bellies. And I did my best so that both of you never run out of blessings. And what a great job you did. Keep it up. But I failed. I failed to raise up a good sister. And I failed to get a gentleman out of the dog I call my husband. Damn right I'll make your bed. You both should have that ride day and night while I feel your ecstasy. While you spend the money I earned. And you rail each other under a roof I made. Because you know what? What? Scums like you should be with each other forever. Goodbye. Has it been officiated yet? Yes, ma'am. The divorce has been filed. The papers will be sent to him in time. And before he gets on a plane, as a Japanese citizen who is on a conditional residence in U.S. because of his marriage to you, his visa will be cancelled. Are you sure, Marie? Is it really that simple? Yes, ma'am. Lucky for you to have filed it within two years of his conditional residence. He still doesn't have his green card. I really don't want to be him right now. But forgive my manners. How are you? You must be going through an emotional storm. Thanks, friend. Now that you've given me the good news, I am just fine. By the way, what about the business? Am I really going to get it? All of his assets in U.S. will be yours, given that his work permit and all other licenses would be trashed after visa cancellation. It will be just about some papers after that. Thanks, Marie. I really can't thank you enough. You've been a real support. You're welcome! Elena! Yes? I don't understand. What's my mistake? Why... Why... Am I holding this damn divorced papers? First of all, I won't call it a mistake, babe. Rather, ask me what was your sin, and I'll torment you with more visuals. Of you and your whore. What happened? Where's your tongue now? Is it still down my sister's throat? You pathetic dog. Elena, please. I am so sorry. I wronged you. I was wrong. It's too late for that, pup. Maybe have a go again with her. Not too late for that. Make love to each other as you both burn in your dooms. I hope she's reading these messages with you. Tell her to stop calling me from unknown numbers. I won't reactivate her credit card. The vacation is over. You know I have my business in US. What will happen to it? I worked so hard for it. 
Please, I beg you. Please don't do this to me. I will be finished. I'll lose everything. Aww. But don't worry about your business, Pop. I'll run it well in your stead. The papers are ready. The case is closed. I wish you well for the rest of your miserable life. And yeah, tell that whore that I booked her a ticket. So you can watch her leave you to bread alone. So you can know that you lost love for nothing. That you lost everything for nothing.